Okay, guys, my video just got cancelled when I was filming, so I'm really annoyed. <laughs> anyway, guys, so I'm just showing you my DC Rebirth collection. So, I'm going to start off with a couple that I have not read either fully. I'm getting loads of notifications right now. Or just part. So, I've read half of this. Superman Rebirth. Volume 2. It's really good. It's a good story and it dives into the friendship between Damian Wayne and Jonathan Kent. Which isn't working at the start. Let me tell you that. But it's really good. And you should go pick it up. Now, second one is something I haven't read part of, but I've seen bits. New Superman number 13. So it is... It has Chinese Superman, Flash and Batman in it. No Wonder Woman I haven't seen in this, but there might be. But yeah, it's the new Superman, Chinese Superman. Then they have Spiral from Nightwing. Well, not it's, it is Nightwing, and Spiral is the story. It's got a really good twist at the end, and it's good. So yeah, it's a Nightwing story. I mean, how can you go wrong with Nightwing? Not very easy, is it? And then we have, oh my god, my nails are so annoying. The Flash Rebirth special. Number one, Lightning Strikes Twice. It has Godspeed on the cover. I don't know why. <laughs> it has Captain Cold on the cover. I don't know why. Lightning Strikes Twice. It, it features itself. August Hart gets lightning. It, it, it gets super speed as well. So yeah. Then we have Green Arrow Rebirth number 29. Heart Traveling Hero Part 4. So yeah. He is Batman and Green Arrow, and I can't go wrong with Batman. And it's really good, and it's them, so it's sort of an, uh, Green Arrow versus Batman. And then we have Aquaman number 23. Let me tell you this. This story is so good. I mean, Aquaman Rebirth is good. It's the first story I've read, but it's good. And I really want to start picking up Aquaman now. <laughs> it's it's basically to do with him being king, and people in Atlantis are mad at him. And yeah, that's just sort of the storyline. I really like that storyline. Justice League Rebirth, number one. Yeah, I got this for two pounds. London Comic Con. That's cheap, alright? And this is this is just a train to be on the cover, but it's a really good comic. You should go pick it up. It's it's honestly one of the best comics in Rebirth. Just like it's great. Superman Rebirth, Volume One. Yes I do a lot of Superman Rebirth. I love Superman Rebirth. It's maybe my favourite line. I'm going to do a top 10 video, you know, sometime. Yeah, it's, it's Son of Superman. And basically all of it does with Son of Superman, doesn't it? Yeah, the Eradicator in this. And, yeah, it, it, it's one story. But it doesn't feel like just one at the same time. Because you got two sides to it where Eradicator comes in. There's a second side. Anyway, a big event. I, I just got this comic a bit ago. It's £4.50. That nice medal. And that cover is amazing. So that nice medal, I mean, this art is literally on the back of nearly every one of my comics. <laughs> but that nice medal is, it's a good story. It's got the Justice League involved. It's its a big story. You should know what happens. And at the end, there's a big twist. I don't, I don't want to spoil much, but I've already spoiled quite a bit. Titans Rebirth number 8. I do not read Titans. Right, I have not read Titans, but this, this was, this was okay. Mini Manhattan Part One. It's it's okay. I don't know if I'll be picking up the next issue, but obviously it's ahead of this. If you, some of these old issues, but I've just got this. Yes, yeah, so I could pick up the old issues. I don't know. That's but it's okay. Batman number 29, I do read Batman a lot, Batman Rebirth, I have like nearly 10 of them, 
I'm, I'm, I'm just started on issue 21. So, they'll all be in there. Yeah, so, it's the Lord Jukes and Riddles. It's a dinner. It's like, it's like the Riddler and the Joker going to dinner with Bruce Wayne. What? <laughs> it's so weird. But fun at the same time. Then you have Justice League Legacy. No, and this is number 27. This is part 2 of the Legacy storyline. I love this storyline. And I really want to get issue 28. Right now. I mean, it's it's the kids of the Justice League. But Jonathan Kent and Damian Wayne aren't there. Which I don't really like that idea. But I think... This is great. Batman's not involved in the Justice League. I don't know what's going on there, though. <laughs> is he, like, he's not with them. What's going on? I don't know. I haven't been reading much about them. Yeah, so my favourite thing is Jessica Cruz and The Flash. Come on, I mean, those who need to be together. Justice League of America, Rebirth Special, number one. He's the Rebirth Special, that's why. It's the origin of the team. And I've got a lot of these issues. Wow, I have a lot. So I'm just going to go through them. Issue 1. Issue 1. 1.2. No, it's basically the second issue 1. That's basically issue 0. So yeah, that's issue 1. Then I got issue... Now, I went to a comic store, and I order... I used to order just the League of America, and then I decided to order Batman, and then I decided to order Justice League instead of Justice League of America. So in Justice League of... Justice League of America number three. Yeah. Justice League of America number four. Um, I don't really know. I don't remember what happens in these ones. I got lost in this one though. It's pretty cool. Justice League of America number five. For some reason, one of the comics all missed out some of the issues, which is really weird. This is the best cover I think they've done. Justice League of America number six. This is the best issue cover. I love that cover. Just League of America number seven. And that's, the, I remember this issue. Colonel Frost and the Atom went to a museum, I think. And then they got invaded by him. And then Amanda Waller comes in at the end, which will be good. Number eight is not here. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't, the, the comic shop just didn't leave it at me. I don't know why. I have a lot of space on my phone, so this is why I did this video. Just League of America number nine. Well, I remember. So this is part two of a story. So I'm really annoyed because I didn't get part one. No. And then I got Suicide Squad. This is a special comic. It's it's a one shot war crimes, and I, I, it's just it's just a special comic. It's a one off, and it's good. It's um. My eyes, why are my eyes so weird? <laughs> like, it's just a Suicide Squad comic. It, it is Rebirth, but it, it, it's just a one-off. Anyway, and you have you have the basic character that always dies. You have the you have a character that's just there to die. Suicide Squad Volume Two going soon. I don't have Volume One. I need to get Volume One. But Volume Two, on the other hand, is good. Going soon. Harley Quinn is going soon. <laughs> Not for long, though. <laughs> I mean, Harley Quinn has her own series, so she couldn't just go soon, or it'd be Harley and Quinn's out. Rebirth. I'm sorry, guys, that was terrible. Um, this is the Suicide Squad you've been waiting for. It's the first Suicide Squad comic I've read. No, War Crimes was the first I ever read. It was just a free film. I'm gonna get the change this order because yeah, it would be better if I say it in this order. Teen Titans number three. This is a it's okay, but I'm not planning on picking up more. If you know what I mean. I just it's just good. It was good. It's just I don't plan on picking up more of the issues. And then I I got this on the same day, volume, no, not volume, issue four, and it's Damien knows best part three and four, but you don't really need part one and two. 
I saw. I was fine without reading this, and I was good. The next issue is a really good comic, and I love this story a lot. Super Sons. I just dropped. Super Sons number four. I think it's number four. Yeah. It was £3.30. I'm really annoyed. And then I know this is got a free digital comic. That's why it has a free digit. That's why it has more. It costs more. It was written by um, Peter Tomasi. Tomasi. I forgot the name. His first name. Yes, yeah, so that's the same writer as Superman. It's good. And, um, yeah. And now we get to Death Struck Rebirth number 11. This comic. This comic was. It's okay. Um, I did, like, I mean, Deathstroke was an okay character, but it was a bit weird because it didn't all focus on Deathstroke. It felt like a one shot. It felt like a one shot. Where Deathstroke isn't in a lot of it, but anyway. Batman number 23. This is awesome. This is Batman and Swamp Thing. And Swamp Thing is freaking amazing in the story. Like, I mean, I'm going to do a comic haul um, in a few days. It's just going to have a few comics in, but this is cool. Because I'm getting comics on Thursday. So, yeah, this is amazing. I mean, what? I'd never read Swamp Thing, and I just, like, something was really good in the story. But it's so funny. Anyway. <laughs> now we get into this story. And uh, I just decided something. I'm going to take this comic out of here. And just leave. So I'm on, I got this comic Superman number 13. And then I noticed it is um, also in my volume 2. And then I got. And then there was Wonder Woman the special. This is. Wonder Woman number one. But I'm going to put Superman in the back of this instead. Because I think it still needs a case, but I don't have any extra ones of these right now. Wonder Woman, she needs some love, you know? Yeah, Wonder Woman, the special edition. So, yeah, that was free. So, I'm happy with that. Um, and then I have Cyborg Rebirth number one. This is one of the black papers as well. This was two pounds, which was really good. I'm happy about that. This cyborg looks really cool, and also I'm I'm proud that I uh, I got this at Comic Con. This is a good comic, and even though I'm not gonna get another issue, it it was good. But it was a lot of reading. <laughs> There's a lot of writing in this comic. <laughs> Next comic. Okay. Batman number 21. The Button! Oh my god. It's really... So the Button is amazing. I mean, it's it's Batman, firstly. And the Flash, but Batman. Mainly. And it's the Button. So... It's good, <laughs> and yeah, it's it's it. The Flash on the cover, but he's not a big character. The sixty-second window is so good. It just has loads of little numbers in the corners, and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> and then the bottom part two, the Flash number twenty-one. Yeah, I only got three issues of this story. Two of them being the bottom. Yes, so this, this is I'm going to, I don't know what they were really doing, actually. I think they were trying to find Eva, I don't know. They went to this portal, and Batman came with him. Batman was beaten up, but he still came with a flash. And Batman meets his father. Wow. I mean, wow. That was a big moment where Batman met his father. And I was shocked. Like, I was just like, I think that happens at the end of this issue. And it continues at the start of Batman number 22. 
My number 22 was shocking. Like, it, it, his father, he just had, he was just screaming, and then his father just had, he just disappeared, and that one was distraught. And, yeah, this wasn't the best issue of the button. The best issue is somewhere else. Oh, it's coming in a second. Not next issue, but Trinity number five. This is Poison Ivy. This is part of Trinity Volume 1. It has Mongol in it. It has Trinity. That's Poison Ivy. And it's a dream thing. It's like what the dream one will be. But that's not in this comic. That's in another comic. But I've heard what the other comics in the volumes are. But I've read this comic. It's good. And also... I think the Superman clones came in this issue, which was weird. Like, we see Superman from the Golden Age. Hey. And then, the this is a good comic. The bottom part for Flash number 22. Two? Yeah, 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 yeah. Has an amazing cover. I mean, just look at it! Just look at it. Just, just appreciate you. Just appreciate it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Jay Garrick. Wow, he came in and then he just disappeared. It was big. This is like number 18. Okay. This is like number 18. I just picked it up because I wanted to get a Justly comic. And... Yeah, I just got a Justice League comic for uh, no reason in particular. <laughs> I just wanted a Justice League comic, guys. I mean, Jessica Cruz and Simon Bars were small characters in this comic, but I went just to see who they were. And then in Reborn, no, is it number 25 of Justice League? I learned more about Simon Bars and Cyborg, and I was really happy to see those two characters in the forefront, especially Simon Bars. As I haven't seen, I don't have a Green Lantern comic yet, and I'm planning on getting one soon. That's a good comic. That's when I started collecting Justice League. Justice League number twenty six. I don't. For some reason though, I don't have Batman number twenty eight. They just didn't. They just. I don't know why they didn't give it me. Interesting. The Justice League's future children. I thought when I saw it in that number twenty five. That, like, it was just gonna, it was just, uh, it said the future Justice League's children. I just thought it was gonna be baby Justice League. I thought that was gonna be a one shot. But no, this is Legacy. And this is the other part of Legacy. This is part one. Yeah, I'll, I'm just looking at some, I'm like, what? Um, yeah, and this is good. And you don't find out who's, who's kids. And then you find out the next issue, what? Like, Simon Bars, Barry Allen, Wonder Woman's kid, Mira's kid. Um, so we have All-Star Batman number four. Probably wondering why number four's here. You'll find out in a sec. Not in a sec, but in like ten minutes. No, not ten minutes. I don't know how long it'll be till you find out. But All-Star Batman number four... I don't remember in particularly what comic. Oh yeah, this is a, this is the one where um. Two Face and some others get Duke and Batman. So yeah, they just captured Duke and Batman. And I heard that the papers that are in all of this, I, I, I used to think it was just the covers, but apparently it's different on all over the book. It feels a bit different, but. Yeah, it, it's got an awesome cover. And I like where every cover has Batman on. You're probably wondering, what? Look at that shadow. It's just that little shadow. And that inspired me to do a few comics with everything having Batman on. Batman Detective Comics, 956. Wow, this is, this is the big issue. This issue is like, what is it? Is this a part four? I think it's a part four. I don't know. Um, oh, well, I don't know because it says League of Shadows finale. Well, yeah, but still. 
You see, there's Batwoman, Clayface, Shiva. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. What do you want this comic back still, Reddit? Batwoman? She was alright. And this was after I'd bought the next comic. And I was like, oh, she's interesting. Let's get. Let's get. Um, let's see what she's like with Batman. And. Yeah, so this is what they got before. Batman number one. And Batman is an interesting character, honestly. Like, there's Batman on the front, but I don't know why, because Batman's not in it. Yeah, she has a cool costume. Better than Batgirl's. Batgirl's costume is a bit uh, in the weird way. Yeah, it's good. Batman number two. It's, um, it's good. <laughs> nah. It's really good. Uh, Batman number two. I just forgot what happens, you know. Oh yeah, they were talking. I know it has a bit more of the backstory and stuff, but I don't know much about it. That was an interesting character. Kit came. I mean, yeah, good. But I don't have much to say about this issue. All Star Batman number three and two. I'm not sure much of these two at the same time. So, this one has Batman vs. KG Beast, the weirdest comic book name ever. And I'm just fixing my nail right now. <laughs> yeah, so. They're just on top of a truck, and I don't remember all the in particular issues, but yeah, that's good. And then issue two has Batman on as well. It has it in two faces, I. And I mean. I didn't do this. That cover is good. Oh my god, this like I love this cover. Also that one number one. That's good. I was like, are all the rest of these all the rest of those are Batman issues? Um so also that one number one. Pretty good. And I didn't know it was easy rebirth at first. But for some reason, I didn't know. What, Travis? What? <laughs> Why didn't I know? I don't know. I just thought it wasn't. Um, let's get these in the right order. What issue is that? All right, right, right. So I don't have issue 27 then. Oh, my God. I'm on number 24. I'm on proposes to Catwoman. Wow, I, I was shocked, honestly, like, I was just like, what, I know, I, I, I knew before I got this comic, I was just online, you know, casual, then, what, Batman proposed to Catwoman, and then I had to get this comic, I was already collecting Batman at the time. What? What? <laughs> anyway, that's a big thing. The War of Jup... Creature. The War of Jukes Riddles Part 1. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really bad. Yeah. It's a good story. And... Oh, she's some riddles. Wait, what? I'm just... No, it's Preacher. Who brought you sausage party? And breaking bad. That's weird. Anyway. <laughs> Back to the subject. Issue 25. That's war of jokes and riddles. This is 25th anniversary of Batman. 25th issue, I mean. Yeah, exercise anniversary issue. Yes, yeah, so it was good. <laughs> I love the story though. And number twenty six was good as well. I'm twenty eight. I didn't get twenty seven. You're probably wondering what, Travis? Why didn't you get twenty seven? Because the comic shop didn't give me a 
I don't know why, but they didn't keep it for me. Number 26 and number 28. 26 is a blonde issue, though. I'm going to be honest. It is pretty boring. I think... Tw oh, that is falling all over. I think 28 is pretty good. I think that's the dead shot. Yeah, dead shot. Dead shot versus death stroke. It, it was... It's pretty good. And now we come to the end of this video. This has been long. I'm surprised if you survived. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope to see you on the next comic call. Bye. What should I do for an outro? Should I just, should I just do this? Oh god, this is falling apart. Bye.